I've been playing Fortnite for multiple hours today, guys, trying to figure out what's the best loan resolution in Fortnite in 2023. I made sure to play all of the most popular ones, like 640 times 480 or 1280 times 1024. And my goal was to find the resolution which still gives us the best FPS boost, but still is totally playable when it comes down to competitive. I've had some issues with a few ones because at some certain point, you couldn't really tell actually if there's an enemy or not because the picture was so pixelated. And especially on the super lower end ones, you could barely see anything besides 200 meters. So therefore I had to try a bunch of them, not only in terms of creative and free building, maybe how my aim feels and all that stuff, but I had to mainly focus around visuals and how the game performed. This is super important guys, because at the end of the day, going as low as possible might not be super beneficial for you if you're actually trying to compete. And after hours upon hours of trying out different resolutions, playing game for game, finally found a resolution which I can highly recommend you guys. The resolution which I'm going to cover made it super easy actually for me to free build in Fortnite with zero issues. And also while actually using it in game, it still looked pretty decent. I mean, you see it right now on screen, it looks gorgeous. The most important part is as soon as you go for a stretch resolution, you should be aware that your game is gonna feel completely different to native. Your mouse sense is definitely gonna feel completely different on a stretch resolution in comparison to 1920 by 1080. So therefore, not only your mouse movement, your placement and your mechanics are going to change, but also overall how you actually see the game itself. Try it out for a couple of minutes to actually play on a stretch resolution and then go back to 1080p. You will notice a huge difference and also the game feels a lot slower actually on a stretch resolution. This is just simply coming down to the fact that the whole entire picture is a lot more stretched and wider, which gives us actually a feeling that the game itself is a little bit slower. These are some of the few things which you actually have to consider if you want to swap to a stretch resolution and not go for something which you can directly find in your Fortnite menu. So therefore, I would highly recommend you to actually try out first of all if you can't actually play on the lowest option which is in the game or if you actually want to go for a stretch resolution. But to be honest, the lowest options in Fortnite directly don't really give you the best experience so therefore I had to find the perfect sweet spot of a stretch resolution. And this is exactly guys where 924 times 648 came in clutch. After playing this resolution, I felt like my game was feeling buttery smooth in comparison to 1080p. I had literally no stutter, I had no input delay whatsoever and performance wise my game never felt better. On top of that, I could still see perfectly fine in the distance, I could see enemies, I could free build, I could go for certain piece and edits and overall I felt like I had no competitive disadvantage. So therefore definitely make sure guys that you try out this resolution which I'm going to show you right now here. I'm gonna use alpha res for this because it's the most handy tool. Just simply put in whatever resolution you want, click under apply and boom you get it applied in game. You can get it from my website, click under stretch resolution, from there you can get it, launch the tool, type in the resolution which you want, put your FPS, free FPS underneath your maximum refresh rate, this is going to help you out with input delay, click under apply and you already get it. And just like that I was in creative, cranking 90s, going for triple edits and simply enjoying the game. Trying out this resolution definitely improved my FPS by a lot. With a few quick calculations I actually figured out that my FPS went up by 37% in comparison to normal native which is amazing for arena guys, like I could play on 360 hertz with zero issues. Only a few instances where it actually dropped below was because I was in mega city but let's keep it honest guys this is the most hardware demanding POI which ever was in Fortnite so therefore there should be no issues.